Welcome everyone to JavaScript Programming Language Course for Beginners. This video is an introduction to JavaScript. You will also see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this entire JavaScript course. Coming up next are the ESLRs. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. This video is the first part of section 1.1, and its intent is to show you how to use the Google Chrome console, one of the most important tools for testing, debugging, and experimenting with JavaScript. So here's an FYI, most browsers have a JavaScript console, and we are going to use the Google Chrome console in this entire course. To open the console, we'll use the browser Google Chrome. So from here, to right-click on any blank or white space in Google Chrome to show the taskbar right-click menu. So if that's open, choose the Inspect button, or the other way to open the console is to use some keyboard shortcuts. In this way, we'll be able to save more time in opening the console tab. The shortcut key to open the console is Command plus Option plus J for Mac and Control Shift J for Windows. Whichever options you prefer, you may do so to open the console tab. Here are the tabs. And let's take a closer look at Google Chrome console tab. So go ahead and click on the tab, the console tab. And you might wonder on why you use the console. There are actually two main uses of the console. First is to view log messages and run JavaScript as well. So I'll show you the methods to use the console in the next slide. The first method is the clear open and close parentheses, and this will clear whatever is in the console. Take note that you can only type the clear open and close parentheses in the console, and this is not in JavaScript. So let's type it. So type clear open and close parentheses, and press enter, and whatever is in your console will be cleared. Another method is to execute JavaScript. So in the console, you type var foo equals open and close curly brackets. Go ahead and type that one. So the variable foo, as shown in the console tab, and in the type foo, you can see what JavaScript expression evaluate to. So JavaScript is evaluating foo. And when you enter foo, you'll notice that foo is an object. Now let's type dir or dir foo, then press enter. Click the disclosure button of the object and you will be able to see several lists. So now don't worry about the details for now. We'll discuss them more later in the next lessons. These are the commands in the console. We have the clear, open and close parentheses, and the dear. In the next video, I'll show you more commands in the Google Chrome console. For today's classwork, please log in to Google Classroom account, then answer module 1. Before I will end this video, I hope that you learned something about the Google Chrome console. Thank you for watching this video 